Yeah, I understand. You must be extremely tired. I can't even imagine how horrible it is for you being there. You might want to reach your ship as fast as possible. But this landscape is definitely not helping. All your friends and fellow beings are happy enjoying their favorite shows back on Earth. And you are miserable on this dry, hot planet in the name of exploration. You are the pioneer, they said, while they sent you off the planet as a sacrificial lamb. You and your crew of three are stuck here with only four CWCs of water and 2,300 liters of oxygen left in all the tanks combined. To add to this, your ship had been wrecked and the water recycling system broke down when you crash landed in the morning. Normally, that amount of oxygen would last a person four days on Earth. But you aren't alone here. And check the rate at which you're breathing. It's only a matter of a few hours before the pioneers are gone forever. <laughs> Feeling breathless? Don't worry. I lied to you. You have just the right amount of water left to survive. And your crew for sure is big. You certainly don't need a ship to take off because this is your planet, planet Earth. It is said that the Earth was once a blue, habitable home. But just like Venus, a runaway greenhouse effect had made your planet a living hell. This was all triggered by the evolution of Homo sapiens. And once the human advancement reached a tipping point, no amount of artificially intelligent simulations could save them from wrecking up most of the species on the planet, except for microbes. Due to radiation levels and the lack of natural oxygen, you can't breathe outdoors. Hence, these spacesuits. You have become an alien on your own planet. You now use the microbes in the soil to convert carbon dioxide into oxygen in your labs. But with no proper nutrition, it's only a matter of a few decades before the human race is completely wiped out. No, 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 no. Well, I lied to you again. This is your very own Earth, but it's still not completely destroyed. It's 2032, and the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has reached a record high of 600 ppm, rapidly doubling its value in just a century's time. Many island nations in the world are being obliterated by the increasing sea levels, which poses a never-seen-before refugee crisis. For the past five decades, all scientific warnings have been discarded for political gains. 
but it's not too late. If we stop our greenhouse emissions, at least from this year, we might still have a slight chance in reviving the planet. Or else, the next two generations would be our last ones here. Thank you.